If you've played Run 8 before, this is probably a very familiar scene. You've got a jammed, very full receiving yard. You got a train going over the hump, and it stopped because you filled up some of the bull tracks. Here we've got two tracks that are full. This train has stopped, and now you got to clear these tracks out before you can go any further. So now we're down at the other end of the bull, and it's actually not that full right now, other than those few tracks. You know, it could be a lot worse. But what I want to show you is how awesome the external consist editor is and how you can use it here if you're playing single player. If you've played single player, you very likely know that the trim job, working the engines down here and pulling cars off these tracks to build outbound trains can take a long time. You could basically spend all your time doing that if you wanted to. You have supply trains keep coming in. You're pulling cars off these tracks. You're building outbound trains and you're spending hours and hours and, you know, you're never driving any road trains. You don't even have a chance to work the locals because you got to keep up with this. And if you like it, that's great. If it, it can be a lot of fun. But if you're saying, I want to kind of have someone else do that or have that done for me, get these outbound trains organized for me quickly so that I can actually run the locals, then I got a fantastic tip for you using the external consist editor, which is free software. And at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can get it. All right, so let's get started here. I'm going to show you how I would do this. And you can do this as a train is going over the hump. Uh, ideally, you have to catch it before the track fills up. Actually, you don't have to. But if you don't want to interrupt the AI train and have to restart them uh, over the hump, then you can do this ahead of time. You can find a track that's getting getting full like some of these over here, and do what I'm about to show you when they're getting full. That's the ideal. But for this example, I'm going to show you this full track here. So instead of having a train on the other end, pulling these all the way off, pushing them into one of the other yards, having to sort them, uh, and now you got the other yards filling up and you know, you're trying to keep up with it. So what you want to do is as you find a track that's getting full, we're going to use this one here, and these are tagged for the local train AB, 45 as you can see up here on the right or if I turn on the train tags you can see here these are a b 45 all these this whole string so what you want to do is first you want to save this as a train so you click on it and you you want to make sure that it's uh, the train that you're in control of so you want to relinquish I just hit alt R to relinquish or up here you can go train relinquish train at the top so you're starting fresh then you click this you want to make sure in the top left it says controlling unit and then these numbers that means that this is the tra train that you're in control of once you're in control hit F1 and you want to be under the train tab now I just created this train title delete you could call this whatever you want but I use the two uh, underscores I think that what it is to keep it at the top of the list and then I just call it delete because I always overwrite it all the time um, then I hit save overwrite and you can see it at the top left train saved as delete so now I have this saved then I'm gonna open up the external consist editor and now in the external consist editor I'm gonna click AGS because we're at the AGS south route um, I'm gonna click select file and then under routes, regions, Gulf Coast trains, under your run eight simulator at the top, you can see the, uh, oh, I guess you can't see this path because I don't have this showing in in uh, the record, screen record. But anyways, then I'll, I could put that up on the screen. You select the train, the delete one that we just saved. And now you can see it's in the external consist editor. And these are all AB45. This is the cars that are in this track that we just uh, saved them off of on the in this in the bowl track. So now you have all these cars. You can click on tag at the top of this column, and it'll sort them all 
perfectly by the industry. So if I click the tag button here, now you can see they're alphabetically sorted. All the BRLs are together, GFS, HTI, JPI. It's got them all in, in order. But you'll see that the sequence is out of order. So what I've learned is you don't want to, once you've ordered them, like I have, you don't want to click and drag to rearrange any because it doesn't save them. The first thing after you're hitting tag and reordering them like this, the first thing to do is save override. So this is going to save override that delete train file that I initially did. So I click this. Now I want to hit clear. Hit yes. So now these are out of there. Now I'm going to just reopen it again. I'm going to go back in reopen it and now you can see the sequence is in order and they're still organized by industry alphabetically and now if i wanted to highlight a couple of these and drag them around it would it would work properly and you'd be able to save it in the right order so you want to make sure you do the it in those steps that i just showed you now the next step once you have it here this is the awesome part about the external consist editor is these on the left here stored units one and stored units two you might not need stored units two i just use stored units one and these are saved in a wherever you save this external consist editor on your hard drive um, there's going to be a folder that it creates called stored units and that's where these uh, the files will be and they're just xml files so i'm going to load up click load and i'm going to load up the ab45 local file that i've already created and you'll see now that there's cars ab45 cars in this stored units um, tab because i just loaded them up from an xml file that was on my hard drive and these are ones that i had already saved off the humpel at a previous time. So now that I have these in here, the next thing that I want to do is click one, hit control A to select all of them, drag them into anywhere to the right here under this train consist. So now I got a huge train here. Then I'm going to repeat the same steps again. I'll hit tag. To sort them alphabetically, I'm going to go, if, if you don't see the save override, make sure you click down here uh, on the router on. Save override. Now I'm going to drag these, uh, all of these. Actually, let me see here. Do it. Did I need to do the save override? I forgot. If I drag these back in. Yeah, I, I didn't need to save it, save that train again. Okay, so yeah, I didn't need to save the train again. Once you sort them in here, you could just select them all and drag them over into the stored units tab here. So now you can see there's still, there's no sequence number, which is perfect. You've got them all organized alphabetically. Now I, the title here of the file is AB45. I'm gonna hit save. And it's going to say it already exists. Do you want to override the file? And I want to hit yes. And it says it was successfully saved. So now it's saved. I can hit clear. That's just going to clear this space. Now, if I want to load it back up, I could come back in, load it back up, right back to where we were. Here's all the cars in there. So I'm going to uh, leave that as is now. Now that I have all of those. Uh, AB45 cars saved in the stored units. The ones, all these cars in this track, plus the ones that I've saved from previous times this track got full. They're all in there. I can click here and I can delete this. So it kind of simulates, if you're playing single player, it kind of simulates having someone else there running uh, the trim job and doing this for you in a way so that it's already done. So I deleted that. Now you could obviously have your hump train keep going and send more over because you got an empty track. And you would repeat these same steps for any of these tracks when you want to clear them out. Let's say now you're ready to build a train for the local AB45. And you want to put it in the uh, west fording yard. We're just going to put it on one of these tracks here. The way I do it is 
I open up my external consist editor and I'll usually put that, you know, if you have multiple screens, it makes it a lot easier. And then I'll open up my Excel spreadsheet with my industry configuration. And I'm not going to get into exactly how to set it up this way. I could do it in another video, showing step by step how I create the spreadsheet. But for this video, I'm just going to show you um, how I use it. So I've got the external consist editor up, and then I've got the Excel spreadsheet. And in my spreadsheet, I want to go under local symbol, and I'm going to uncheck the select all so none of them are checked. And I'm going to click AB45. That's the one we're going to build a train for. I hit OK. And now you can see here, these are the industries on the left for AB45. And you'll see here I created these custom, uh, these three columns. I made these, build count, build sequence, industry stops. Build sequence, I decided which order I want the cars to be in at a time, like by looking at the map and figuring out what stops I want to make. So this is how I want them to appear in the, in the, on the train and what we're going to do in the consist editor. Then the build count, this is num these numbers are created randomly. So this each cell has a random number generator script. So when I press F9 on the keyboard, it's going to generate random numbers for each cell. And the number is going to be between 0 and the capacity number over here on the right. Uh, so here's 5 for this one, 2, 6, 10, 2, you know, you get the picture. It's going to be a number between there. So what I'll do is I'll hit F9 and watch the build count numbers change. So now you see these numbers here. So I got 0, 1, 2, a lot of zeros. So this would be a, a pretty small train here. Uh, let's see. Let me try hitting it again. See if we can get some bigger number. Oh, there we go. All right. Well, let's go with this one. So we've got these numbers here. And now I'm going to switch the screen back over to the consist editor. All right. So I need five center beam flat cars for BLX. So there's five of the center beam flat cars. Then next in line, I want to have one of the two bay covered hoppers for BHM. And this is going based on those numbers I just showed you on my spreadsheet. Then we have one box car for JPI. And there it is. Drop that in. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just using these random numbers from the spreadsheet. And I'm dragging these cars that I saved under stored units that were in the hump bowl. So they're already configured. All these cars and tags come through pre-configured based on your industry configuration. They come on your supply trains. Um, so there's JPI. Then we need STI. We need two gondolas for STI. So we got those. And then we have... After that, we want GFS. We want one box car. Then once you have your train built here, then what you would do is you would click on AGS up here. And probably best to do to click on Save New. Now back in Run 8, I open up my trains and I saved it as AB45. That's the train I just built in the external consist editor. You can see over here it's got... Uh, how many loads, how many empties, tons. That's another cool thing about the external consist editor. I'll hit load into consist editor. Now, if I wanted to put engines on it, I can. Or I can just leave it as is and manually bring engines from the yard and drive them over. I'm going to drop it right there. And now I've got a local train. You can see we've got our BLX, then our BHM, JPI, STI, and GFS. The car counts are based on the spreadsheet that I showed you earlier and those numbers we went off of. And it's all in order exactly how I want it, ready to depart heading this way out of the west end. And then I just would have to put a engine or two on the front and we're ready to go. So that's the method that I use playing single player to build 
local trains and basically any outbound train off of the bowl that you're assembling rather than having to do it manually by moving all these cars and then things getting really jammed. You don't really have to worry about the yard getting super jammed because all these cars are stored in the stored units tab in the XML file of the external consist editor like I just showed you. So you just keep storing them there as they, the track fills up and then when you want to build the train, your outbound train, then you repeat the steps that I just showed and you assemble the train and you don't have to use the spreadsheet like I do with the random numbers. You could just pick a, pick the numbers on the fly, however you know, however big or small you want the train to be, or you can do it my way. It just makes it a little bit more kind of spontaneous. You don't know what you're going to get, and uh, it works extremely well. That's I've been doing it recently, and I I love it. So hopefully this helps. And let me know in the comments if you want me to get more in depth on. Um, how to build the spreadsheet with the random numbers and how to uh, any more detail on the external consist editor let me know and I can make further in-depth videos on that to download the external consist editor you want to go to railcoder.com and I'll put a link in the description below and when you go to that website this is what you're going to get and there's actual actually several handy uh, different programs that you can check out but for now, we're looking at external consist editor here. Click on learn more. And it's going to give you some uh, explanation of what it does and what you can do. And it can do a lot more than I even showed here. I just wanted to show you how you can use the stored units feature. It's really a handy feature. Then you click down here, download EC 5.3, and it's going to walk you through the steps of, you know, it's like installing any other program. And uh, then you will have it for run eight. So I hope this video helps you out and makes it a little bit easier to manage your train yards and your hump bowl when it gets really full and you're one guy trying to sort all these cars into outbound tracks to build local trains. Hopefully this makes it easier so you could actually get out of the yard and uh, start working some locals or some road trains. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions in the comments and stay tuned for the next video.